Regan Kandole is adding value to waste. He started collecting plastic and metallic waste over 10 years ago to use for art pieces while at Chambogo University in Kampala. In this way, Regan was saving the environment from waste. To me, it was very interesting to use the waste around because I could not afford the materials at the department. So it was uh, a very strong idea for me to be very creative to use the things around me. Regan is now an art and design teacher at the same university where he studied. His students have taken up his creativity and are on a campaign to protect the environment by making use of waste for artistic impressions. Muhezi's scarecrow is now being used in the university gardens to keep pests away. I have used like, uh, they are like uh, four sacks of plastics, four sacks, but uh, I have not bought them, just I have been collecting them as usual, because in our hostels there, there are a lot of plastics, in the faculty everywhere there is plastics. He is now tackling the problem of plastic waste in communities around Kampala. I remember our first project we did was a mural painting with recycled materials in the community together with them. Then later we started engaging them into workshops that can help them make products. For example, as you're going to see that where they can make more money because they collect a number of plastics but earn so little to these recycling companies. The National Environment Management Authority says Kampala produces more than 13,000 metric tons of plastic and nearly half of that is not properly disposed of or recycled. Hanifa Namubiro says plastic has changed her life. Apart from selling to the recycling companies, she's making crafts out of plastic. We use these bottles to make a lot of things. We construct houses using these bottles. We can make dustbins out of plastic. We also use the bottle tops for making doormats or table mats. His sculptures are now being used to create awareness about the harmful effects of plastic waste. The installations are placed at strategic places in the city as a reminder that plastic can be recycled into useful products.